the volleyball now to the 3A action. We're Allentown Central Catholic going up against Pope John Paul II, runner-up from District 1. The Vikettes fell to the Panthers earlier this season in a tournament, but this time around Central was leaving nothing for granted as the Vikings uh, take to the court. Erica Rose has the highlights. The Central Catholic volleyball team entering the PIAA 3A tournament not just as the number one seed in the district, but in the entire state. They will have to play like it Tuesday night if they want to avoid a repeat of last year when their season came to an end in the opening round. The Vikings going up against Pope John Paul II, the second ranked team in the state. The first set a thriller, the two go back and forth early. Central will not lead by more than three until Megan Nelson's ace. She will have back to back. That's part of a 7-0 run for the Vikings, 17. 10. The Panthers will claw their way back despite the great effort by the Vikings, but Olivia Rudjord, a big reason why they hold them off. 25-20 Central takes the first set. The Vikings will have a 13-12 lead in the second set, but it will be downhill from there. The Panthers go on an 8-0 run and will take set number 2, 25-16. The third set, another exciting one between two great teams. Central Catholic holds the early lead. Dana Roberts playing very well. She makes it 15-12. The ace by Shelby Horgan brings the Panthers within one, however, later in the set, 16-15, and they will score four straight to take the lead at 21-20. And the final two points going the Pope John Paul, 25-23, as Central Catholic cannot make the dig. The Vikings bounce back in the fourth set, in large part to a 7-0 run midway through to go up 14-9. But as expected, it comes down to the final few points. The Panthers come all the way back within one 24-23, but Rachel Hess keeps the Viking season alive, and she will advance them to the next round in the fifth set. Central trailing 14-13, but Hess involved in the final three points, a block and two kills. 16-14, the Vikings fight back in a thriller. This moment was a moment that I will treasure. Our team, our Vikettes, have, have played so hard. That last set, they never gave up. They were just, it was sure determination and effort on all, everybody's part out there. Well, it feels great because even when we were down, we always picked our heads up because we were so determined to win. And that was the mentality throughout the whole game. The Central Catholic Vikettes made a mutual agreement at the beginning of the year to advance further than the first round in state. And although they had to give everything they had, they kept their word and their season alive. Yeah, we've worked so hard at practices and we always want to push to get further and further. So it really feels good that the hard work pays off. On the scene at Whitehall, America Rose, two sports. Wow, such an emotional sport. Uh, Lori Corcoran also knows the deal in the mm -hmm. PIAA tournament. She's navigated the Vikettes to state championships in the past. Uh, they're going to be a dangerous out in this field. Carnella Harris, who they play next, you're absolutely right. They continue to be number mm -hmm. one. They knocked off number two. The team that beat number two was already out of the tournament. Mm -hmm. So Central Catholic, a real, real good chance of, of making it to the state finals at the very least and maybe winning another state championship. We're going to